Welcome to week six. We learned about steganography and how it works. It's the simple, the hiding stuff in plain sight. As it said with the Romans, they've just put wax over something. It's putting it pictures, hiding information in pictures for us to make it easy. So the idea, you know, cryptology hides and encrypts the information so it can't be read. Steganography, all that does is hide it. Now, can we use both? Can we encrypt something and hide it in plain sight? Sure we can. So we can combine this. This is about putting information in pictures and Word documents and music files. So it allows us a whole different way. And it's really about transporting this information over whether we're using the internet or you want to convey pictures to someone. Uh, you want to make it available for everyone to see, but you don't want it, anyone to really know what's going on. And that's really what that chapter was about. It was an exciting chapter we learned about. And then we also learned how to break it. So it allowed us to uh, put some good information together. We also learned about the secure socket layer and how we use cryptology uh, and how important it is. That's at the transport level. We also learned about ATMs and how important is it that the ATM uh, uses security. We have our information in there. We have pin. We have our pin numbers in there, uh, password, amount on uh, our access to our checking accounts. So ATMs are really an important thing that we need to look at and study how their security works. So we looked at that. Let's see, uh, digital signatures. We really looked at that. How do digital signatures work? Uh, we talked about that. You know, digital signatures in the world, paperless world, is gonna become even more popular and bigger because now they are legally binding. And we using the hash to help us identify what's going on. Again, the hash works with the encryption. So we can encrypt the document, we hash it. So in this way, we know the file size when it gets there. We also compare it to that data to make sure that that document was unaltered. So we can send someone a document. We know the size of it from our hash we've created. They sign it, they send it back, and we can check to make sure that that hash is the exact same thing. So that was another important part of how that works with the entire information. Last thing we talked about was drive encryption. Now, I told you my flash drive, I use a thumb drive for everything, all my documents on it, and I have it password protected. Everything's on it in case I lose it, no one can get into it. Uh, my laptop, same thing. I have that, you need a password to get into it. I told you where I used to work. You needed a lap, you needed a password just to get it to the boot sector. So if you use a laptop, definitely think about putting security on it and encrypt the data. In case something happens to my laptop, it gets lost or whatever, I don't want any of that information out. So think about encrypting your data. It just makes it safer. My thumb drive's encrypted so no one can get to it. So just think about that and think about encrypting that data. Let's see, that was what we covered and we talked a little bit about the cell phone use and how because they're digital now, all this information can be encrypted. So what did we have to do uh, last week? Let me just take a pop over there. So last week we covered chapters eight and nine, which we just went over. You should have had a one to two page paper. Your paper uh, this week, let me get there. Uh, your discussion questions. Then steganography is a hard abiding something. So how can cryptology and steganography work together? So provide some examples. That was your discussion question you should have completed. Also, your paper was uh, the digital signatures. How did they work? So we wanted a little more detail. Uh, you had a quiz this week, quiz six. So just take a look at that. You should have finished that up too. And don't forget to write in your journal. Uh, what did you learn? What was important to you? So that was what we covered this week. Uh, now we're getting on to week seven, which is really our last week. We're gonna be covering chapters 10 and 11. They're pretty, pretty short. Uh, we're getting to the end. We only have two weeks left. Uh, chapter seven, I mean week seven, and then week eight is really just your final. So we don't have a whole lot left to uh, cover in this class. So I hope you're learning something. I hope you're enjoying the uh, class. Uh, remember, fill in what made you smile this week. What, uh, what's keeping you going? Uh, don't forget, ask questions. I check my emails daily. I also have that spot on the end of the, at the bottom of uh, each week to ask questions if they're generic to the uh, class. But ask questions. I will see you all next week. Have a wonderful week.
Thank you.